hindi ko sa ad wag nyo agad banata ng amenities like uh, like like what traditional salesman would do oy ganda na ano ano ganda na ano ganda na ano tu 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 ka <laughs> baka baka man ang kaakit bahay gang yan <laughs> di ba what's cooking money and life movement JJ Ramos is back Welcome back to my channel, and it's time again for Advocacy Friday. Now, <clears throat> there's uh, this particular uh, blog post that I remember so well. <laughs> it's, it's the title is "Is This Courtesy King?" All right. This was an actual experience on uh, on my uh, for network marketing. Now, and it happened. On LinkedIn, all right. So again, well, you want to you want to see that blog post? Link in the description below. All right. Don't forget that. Now this um, real estate broker, right? The guy's a real estate broker, and I was trying to offer him a uh, my network marketing business. I want him to join my team. I couldn't uh, recall what actually happened, but it's in the blog post. Basically, he was, yeah, basically, he answered my question with another question, okay? That is rude. That's very rude. But, uh, being the professional that I am, I asked him, well, I told him, depends. Is that a yes or a no? So a few days went by. I checked. Uh, I checked. I checked on him again on on a Friday. Okay? It was follow up Friday, so I had to check up on everybody, on every single prospect that I have come across. You know what? You know what his reply was. He blocked me. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> the guy blocked me. Right. Here is this licensed real estate broker, all right? When it comes to courtesy, he is absolutely clueless. He is fucking clueless, all right? That pissed me off, okay? That absolutely pissed me off that day. It's what inspired me to write that blog post. I'm asking the, word, the WordPress universe, is this courtesy king? Here's my take on it. 2020. Hindi porket licensed professional kayo, emang babastos na kayo. That does not give you the right to be discourteous to others. That does not give you the right to well to to say whatever you want to to anyone that you wish. Well, I guess he's not the kind of prospect I want. It's not the kind of uh, it's not the kind of teammate that I want, right? I do not want to work with an asshole, right? I do not want to work with an asshole like that. Yeah, mabuti na lang bilak niya ako, okay? <clears throat> having your own business, having your own professional license, does not give you the privilege of saying what you want. Or being, uh, or being a boss to anyone. Okay? Kaya nga privilege eh. It's not a right. Okay? Now, if you're a home-based entrepreneur, if you're a network marketer, if you're building your own personal brand, you have to be worried with these kinds of people. Those kinds of people will destroy your brand or business. Mga bastos eh. Right? Basta bastos na ni marunong ning manira. Okay? So, I ask the question again. On behalf of the YouTubers, is this courtesy king? Like what I answered in the blog post. Not in a million years. Probably in the next lifetime. Probably in the next, uh, probably in the next, uh, 
probably in the next collapse of the multiverse. <laughs> You'll have to wait for the multiverse to collapse to make that happen. <laughs> mala, mala, mala arrow. Crisis on Infinite Earths. This courtesy has no place in anything. Okay? Especially in business. It has no place. Pag nakita mong bastos yung tao, do not waste your time on that person. Do not even deal with him. Sakit lang sa ulo. May stress lang kayo. Okay? Kung ano man ang sakit nyo, madadagdagan pa yun. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Kung may natamaan man ako sa, sa post na to, well, pasensyahan tayo. Ayoko sa bastos eh. Mas bastos akong kausap pag ganun. <laughs> Mas bastos akong kausap. Well, I hope you've um, I hope you've seen the blog post by clicking that link. Uh, so, it's time for oh, <laughs> Sorry. It's time for the objection of the week. So, kauwi lang namin and I'm going to use this in my room. Zero stink, all natural ingredients. All right, so tandaan yan. May cold tayo below, okay? We're done. Time for the objection of the week. Now, you may encounter if you're into if you're into finan if you're selling financial services like um like insurance or real estate, okay? Or if you're into network marketing, all right? You may encounter this kind of an objection, especially from affluent prospects. Yung talagang may kaya na sa buhay. Yung mga talag talagang masasabi mong maganon. Here's the object. Here's the objection. I got other investments to attend to. May bago investment din. Bakit ako sasali sa networking mo? Kumikita naman ako sa mga investments ko. Bakit ako kukuha ng mutual fund mo? Well, business is doing well. My, my companies are doing well. Bakit ako kukuha ng insurance sa'yo? Something to that effect. Now, I've encountered this kind of objection siguro a few times No. Probably when I was in film life. Kaya hindi ko siya nasabi sa manager ko. <laughs> sigurado, dahil sigurado, sasabunin ako nun. <laughs> sigurado, sasabunin ako nun. I never, I never had a, a real answer for that. Okay? What I would do back then was to ask for a referral. <laughs> Hihingi na ako ng referral. And well, some some of those affluent prospects would actually give actually gave me some referrals. But fast forward 2020. If I would encounter that kind of a prospect now, I would probably give him this rebuttal. Pangganyo. Sir, oh ma'am. <clears throat> I know, well, by the looks of it. Siyempre, okay? Listen, listen very carefully, alright? This is where probably, okay, this is probably where the amenities will come in. Alright? Pero, don't mention, don't mention to it right away. Pag binanatang ka, pag binanatang kayo ng ganitong classing objection, that's where the amenities come in. It's one of the best times to to cinch in that that um the amenities the prospects has right Ngare. sir ma'am uh, um pasensya na po if uh if right now ngayon lang naging ngayon lang po naging obvious sa akin on how well 
on how on on how well you're doing with your investments. Okay? Show them the uh oh. Turuming on it, office. It's all it's it's all over your office po or your or kunyari, nasa bahay. It's all over your house on how well those investments are doing. I'm only here I'm primarily here to well show you an alternative. Babasaari lang po ma'am. Babasaari lang. What's it gonna take for us to move forward? Again, the what's it gonna take close. Kasi <clears throat> affluent prospects usually usually are you they're usually proud of their investments of of all the investments that have made money for them usually you have to acknowledge that acknowledge that with all your heart and soul then well kagano nang ginawa ko kanina sa rebuttal nag-apologize pa ako you have to get that trust you have to establish trust okay That's why I cinched in that apology. Uh, sorry po ma'am kung ngayon ko lang, ngayon ko lang po na, napansin on how well your on how well your investments are uh, are making money for you. Kasi, well, ayoko po sanang okay, I'm talk, like, like I'm talking to the prospect right now. I'm uh, well ngayon ko lang po talaga napansin eh, kaya sorry po. So Now I know how how well your investments are doing for you. So yun nga. But but na naman what's it gonna take? <laughs> what's it gonna take? Hey, okay, I'll repeat my rebuttal. What's it gonna take po for you and I to move forward on on this offer of mine? <clears throat> Remember Number one, uh, what you call this? S step number one, parate. In the what's it gonna take close. Never justify. Do not go into justification mode. That's the trick. That's, uh, no, I won't say a trick. Yeah. I won't say a trick. But say, you're, you have to establish trust muna. Eh. You have to establish trust muna. It's not about you. It's about the prospect. Okay. So yun nga, don't justify, acknowledge, especially kasi you're dealing with an affluent prospect here. Acknowledge their achievements, acknowledge whatever they had, whatever they have now. Then, go into the what's it gonna take close. The what's it gonna take close, what, uh, what I found, what I found out for myself. <clears throat> It's a close that should be um, that should be given a strong foundation. See? Hindi ko siya wag nyo agad banata ng amenities like uh, like like what traditional salesmen would do. Oy, ganda na naman, ang ganda na naman, ganda na naman, tuturo-turo-turo ka. Baka babagka man ang kaakit bahay ganyan. Di ba? Don't go into amenities yet, okay? Amenities closing, like I've said in a previous episode, amenities closing is, amenities selling is hard selling. Never do that. Unless, unless you're acknowledging the prospect's achievements. Okay? Katulad yan, ang objection sa'yo eh, Okay na may mga ibang investments ko. Ba't ako, ba't ako kukuha niyan? Ba't ako kukuha ng insurance mo? Ba't ako sasali sa network marketing business mo? Nga. Yeah. Doon po siya balatan ng ang amenities. The prospect may become apprehensive when, oh, teka, when the prospect gives you this kind of objection, baka apprehensive na siya. Baka medyo annoyed na siya. Right? Keep that in mind. That's why you have to acknowledge whatever amenities you see. But don't, don't actually point like this. Sabihin mo lang, 
Katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. Katulad ng rebuttal ko kanina. Sir, ma'am, bok. Ngayon ko lang po na-realize, uh, and I'm sorry. Okay, first and foremost, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Ngayon ko lang po na-realize on how on how well your investments are doing on how well your investments are doing for you how hard your investments are working for you well, it's, it's obvious to me now po so yeah but what's it going to take okay for example you're the prospect you're the affluent prospect after doing a doing the somewhat apologetic uh apologetic opening then sir ma'am what's it gonna take for you and i to move forward on this offer of mine Siyempre, asagot yan. right hindi pwedeng hindi take whatever answer that prospect can give will give you and take it from there now if that prospect is going to give you steps on how to well how to get his or her business you may you may want to follow it okay? if it's reasonable all right if it's reasonable you may want to follow it it's a rather um this objection is a rather rare one but <clears throat> If you work closely with um, with affluent with affluent people, ah, talaga mika na sa buhay. You'll encounter this objection very often. Okay. Sa network marketing, hindi masado eh, right? Hindi masado. Rarely do rich people get into network marketing when they're already rich, <laughs> right? If you're into financial services, inga financial services, especially insurance, you will encounter this kind of an objection. Tagayon sa bato yan. Okay? If you're an insurance salesman, you will encounter that kind of an objection. Alright? <clears throat> well, if you found value in this episode, you know the drill. Hit that to subscribe, hit the bell, and comment with done. You do, you do all three of those steps, I probably might give you a shout out in the next available episode. I will even feature your channel on my end screen. Of, of course, the next available episode. Sounds fair? If, it's, uh, if it sounds fair to you, then do those three steps. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Just money and live movement.